What's up gang, Devin here with another short video walkthrough on how to resolve the earnings at risk error message through Google AdSense. Recently, I've actually been trying to monetize some of my websites. I got all of the apps connected, especially since I'm going through Wix. They made it extremely easy. However, whenever I logged back into Google AdSense, I noticed I had a little flag at the top that says something like earnings at risk. You need to fix your ads.txt file. Look, I had no clue what to do with Wix um made it seem like there's no other task need, needing to be done on the website definitely didn't want any of my earnings to be at risk so i went ahead and took the steps to try to figure out how to get past this error message so i can get the full potential out of the monetization so guys i'm going to go ahead and share these steps with you it's going to be a really quick video of course if you like any of the information i provide to you go ahead and press that like button on the video here below of course if you want to get more information in regards to business apps and reviews Please feel free to press that subscribe button for more. All right, guys, let's check it out. I got the keys, keys, keys. All right, guys, here, let me change my screen real quick because I want my face to be nice and big so you can see my uh, all of my emotions. But nevertheless, all right, so here I have a screenshot of Google AdSense pulled up here from yesterday before I went ahead and got the issue resolved. So this is, this right here is, um, yeah, so this is this is the error message that we were talking about here. Let me scroll up right here. So this is the error message here. It says um, earnings at risk. You need to fix some ads. Dot txt file issues to avoid severe ad impact to your revenue. And then um, at that point it says fix now. That says you can see over here fix now. Once you hit fix now, it'll. Um, it'll make you download a file at which you can go in and edit that file. I'll show you what the file looks like here. Oops. All right, so let me just clear that. Yeah, I have a lot of downloads. All right, so here's the add txt file, right? So it looks something, something similar to this. Just ignore my pub here. I don't want you to see that, but this is what you're gonna essentially plug in. All right, so they want they want that file placed on your website. Uh, apparently, um, especially if you're working through Wix, I don't know. This I've read a bunch of stuff saying that Wix resolved the issue, but you still get this flag. So something must be done. Nevertheless, so here let's go go ahead and go through the steps of how to resolve it. So I'm going to go ahead and give credit where credit's due. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to a different light on this Wix forum. He actually gave. Um, some really good steps towards resolving this particular issue. All you're gonna do is basically, you're gonna copy this script and place it into the header um, the header files onto your Wix app, the website, all right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, okay? So first and foremost, you wanna go ahead and sign in to Wix. So I'm just gonna start completely over here. So Wix.com, right? I'm gonna choose the website that I'm trying to monetize. Like so. So once you get into your dashboard for your account, your Wix account, you're gonna to go to settings. Right? Wait for it to load up here. And then you're gonna scroll down and go to your tracking and analytics. It looks something similar to this here. Right over here. Right? So we're gonna click on tracking and analytics. Okay. Then at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna type in new tool and go to custom. Right? At this point, you're gonna go ahead and paste that code that I provided below the video from script all the way up. Like that. Right? Copy, paste, all right? And then you're gonna go ahead and get your publisher's ID to paste in here. If, you, if, you're, if you're not familiar where to find your publisher's ID, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now as well. Okay, so all you'll do to get your publisher's ID is basically you're gonna go to your AdSense account, go to account on the side here, and you, sh you should see the publisher's ID here. Right? Cool. So once you paste in that publisher's ID, 
all you're gonna do is hit apply and it'll look something similar to this right here okay so once you do that you should be able to verify your ad uh, your ads that txt right so I'm gonna do my URL dot com forward slash ads dot txt and you should see something like this okay once you see this uh, you, you're, you're squared away next steps is basically to wait until the flag disappears on your account right so obviously mine here is is nowhere to be found uh, be found right and again just to give you a reminder what that looked like it looks something similar to this here right earnings at risk you need to fix some of the ads.txt files to avoid issues to impact your revenue it took about i think it took a good day for it to disappear but once i went through these steps i mean it was a for sure thing again shout out to my guy on on, the, on that wix forum um he provided this script and i'm going to provide it to you guys as well just look right below the video for all the steps all, again all you're going to do is simply copy the script replace uh the x's with your publisher id right um, you're going to go to tracking and analytics inside of your Wix app, right? Paste that script into that snippet box that I mentioned for the header. And then you're going to verify by going to mysite.com forward slash ads.txt. So again, hey, shout out to a different light. Salute to you. That's all guys. That's it. All right, gang, that's all I had in regards to resolving this issue. If you have any other routes that you can take to get rid of this error message, please, please feel free to comment those corrections below. Or if you want to shoot me a direct message, I'll go ahead and reach back out to you and we can have a full blown conversation about it. All the links provided in the video, I went ahead and pasted it right below the video here. So just in case you wanted to go ahead and try to give it a shot, all you have to do is click the buttons below. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, if this information was beneficial to you, go ahead and press that like button here below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more information in regards to business apps and reviews. I'll see you next time.